was an amazing experience. I was a bit hesitant about um, going to the camp originally, but I was talked into um, going to the camp from a member of my club, and I'm so grateful that I went. It was an amazing, inspirational week. It was a great experience. I was so excited and so lucky that I got chosen and got to experience a great week. It really opened my eyes up to what a great organisation it was. And in fact, I was, I was always thinking I was going to be a career police officer in Victoria. Um, in a couple of months later, I had left. I had gone to work for Surf Life Saving in Queensland and now you know, I've achieved some wonderful things in Surf Life Saving. I wanted to be a part of it because I wanted to learn stuff about the organisation and develop my own skills. Uh, for other people, I think it's a, it's a great opportunity to do just that. It is a case of you get to talk to the, the different generations and they find out that, you know, we weren't all stupid back, uh, you know, when, uh, when they were in diapers sort of thing. But you also find out that there's a lot of young people out there that are looking to do all of those things and pro probably have bigger and better dreams than we ever did with what they want to do within life saving. Looking at it from a personal perspective, uh, it gives you the confidence to go and do more within either your club or within your branch or the state if that's, if that's what you want to do. From all of the leadership activities I've been involved in in surf, I've taken a lot back to my work as a medical researcher where I have to lead a, a team of people. I think there was two levels to it. I think the personal experience I got out of it uh, being myself, I was a you know, 22 year old, not really sure what I was doing in life, but it gave me a lot of confidence uh, in decision making and, uh, and, and goal setting for a personal, personal level, but also for, for Surf Life Saving Australia's, uh, the amount of people there together to develop uh, surf life saving in general, whether it's in education, life saving or, uh, or surf sports, uh, there for the one goal. I think being out of your comfort zone, um, learning to deal with the challenges in the workforce and um, being learning ways to deal with um, challenges you're able to sort of bring that to your workplace and how to communicate with people. Um, even as simple as um, a handshake, you learn how to do a proper handshake. Professionally, it's actually fed into my work life too and uh, management of people, um, relationships with people and the way you go about your business with integrity. I definitely recommend for people to be part of the leadership alumni because I think all the people who have attended our Surf Life Saving Leadership programs who have received all of this high level leadership training have become a massive asset to surf now. So I think we all need to get together and bring it all into one and move Surf Life Saving forward with all of our leadership skills combined. End of last year I graduated uni, so I'm now a senior um, PE teacher at high school. And I feel that by being that experience of learning these interpersonal skills relates into my profession as well as a leader, as being able to encourage and empower others to passionately and positively make an influence on their lives. The alumni is fantastic. I, I'm meeting and catching up with people uh, that I haven't seen in, in decades. But it's, you know, for me, and I, I'm honoured that I get to speak at uh, the, um, the leadership programs every year. I'm catching up with people I only met 12 months ago or 20 and 30 years ago. So it's a great networking opportunity, not only within Surf Life Saving, but you know, even through our careers.